Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, yeah, Bob. What do I do? Hmm, let's see. I know, you play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hands. Oh, you're right. Well, okay, well, you play this. I don't want to play that. I'll look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not gonna do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. All right, better get on out there. So, Veggie Tales, you know, they used to be my all time favorite show. And, well, it still is. You know, I'm not going to lie. If I saw it on, I'd stop whatever it was that I was doing at the time and just watch it. You know, I guess that kind of shows how much sure I am. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here is a list of what I call the top 10 VeggieTale songs. Now, I'm not secluding this to just silly songs. If you've ever watched the show, you'd understand that, see, each episode has a silly song. I mean, except for that episode 2, which is called God Wants Me to Forgive Them, which, in my opinion, wasn't their best, but... At the time, VeggieTales and Big Idea Entertainment was just kind of testing their water, seeing what people like, stuff like that, you know, and people just love silly songs, you know. But I'm not doing just silly songs, even though I do cover most on this list are pretty much silly songs. I mean, it's just hard to escape silly songs because that's what makes VeggieTales, well, VeggieTales, you know. But but I am, however, secluding it to the VeggieTales that started in 1993, the, like the 3D computer animation, because I'm not doing that crappy Netflix video shows. That's just not my cup of tea, you know. <laughs> so, without further ado, here is the top 10 VeggieTail songs. So, let's get cracking. <laughs> and now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Number 10, Love My Lips. Larry loves his lips. You know, I guess the title kind of gave that one away. <laughs> uh, but this hilarious song is a silly song from the episode called Dave and the Giant Pickle. He's basically sitting with his psychiatrist talking about his problem that he has. You know, basically he loves his lips. You know, that's a catchy tune, some hilarious stories he tells about his lips. Especially that Oscar story. <laughs> Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen and when he did start speaking he just spoke Polish and I only knew like three words in Polish except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. Yeah. Number nine. The Larry Boy theme song. Now, you see, Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space was one of my favorite VeggieTale episodes. I mean, how could I possibly leave this one out? Larry isn't actually singing it, but it's done almost like some sort of, like, showgirl style and with, like, these three female asparaguses sing it, basically. You know, and I thought the song was very well put together, basically loved by kids and adults alike. Larry Boy is the classic Batman parody, and this song just depicts how great... Larry Boy really is. Larry Boy. Larry Boy. Number eight, the song of the Cebu. This sequential image, stereophonic multimedia event, isn't really all that. Uh, well, I mean, the song is, but it actually, the, like, the multimedia stuff just isn't really. I mean, it's basically a slide projector and a bed sheet. <laughs> But I had to leave this one as our number 8 spot because of the story that Larry tells in this song that doesn't even have an ending. But, I mean, like, this whole nonsense of a song will get any kid or adult laughing. Wait! What happens next? Um... Does the hippo see them? Is the poor mute Cebu successful in communicating the imminent danger to the other passengers? Is the boy injured? Why is the sad Cebu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh, look. There's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh, wow. Mm. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. 
this is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a febu. Say. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is standing and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, moo, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. Number seven. The hairbrush song. This song is simple. Larry lost his hairbrush and couldn't find it. You know, he's in a towel, and every time someone enters the scene, they are kind of embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel. And each character tells Larry where they saw the hairbrush, and it either makes him happy or sad. All in all, you know, I put this one on the list because it's a song that I grew up with, and everyone that I know that have heard this song loves it. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Number six. The Dance of the Cucumber. Written in Spanish and translated in English by Bob makes this even funnier when Larry keeps smashing Bob in Spanish, saying that he can't dance and then that he can't sing. I mean, until finally, he chases him, which, as Larry says in English, it's hard to run with a sombrero on his head. <laughs> All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Hi, everyone. This is Larry. Normally, this would be the time when the narrator comes on and says, And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Number five, belly button. Okay, guys, it's time to get serious. With Boys in the Sink. With this hilarious in sync parody about a gourd that just doesn't have a belly button, the entire family will be laughing. Now, this is one of my favorite songs. It was on one of my favorite episodes, which, by the way, I have a lot of those. It's called The Ballad of Little Joe. You know, which makes it even more hilarious when Khalil's entrance with a rap. Which, if you don't know who Khalil is, I think that's how you say his name, if I'm saying it right. Um, he's a little worm slash caterpillar thing that made his debut on Jonah, a VeggieTale movie. Hey, Bartle's missing. There's no reason for an alarm. It's a common thing for guards. It won't do you any really harm. Number four, the pirates who don't do anything. What a great thing to teach young minds that can be molded easily. Be a pirate that just doesn't do anything. <laughs> You know, I don't really think this got a whole lot of controversy, but it wouldn't surprise me if today's day and age, uh, like, it would. I mean, with all this stuff going around with liberals and whatnot, I mean, you know, but... But anyways, it isn't supposed to be a political video. So this song was f very funny until Larry the Cucumber's two verses. Then it was hilarious. I mean, Paul Grape and the Gord both sung about pirate stuff, but Larry sung about everything except pirate stuff. Plucked a rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall And I've never kicked a chipmunk And I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Number three. The Water Buffalo Song. Everybody's gone. This was a silly song that started all silly songs. In fact, this was the reason that they did a silly song in every episode. Episode 2, God Wants Me to Forgive Them, came out without a silly song because the creator, Phil Vischer and Mike, uh, I've, if I'm saying this right, excuse me, uh, Mike Naraki, I think it's how you say it, it's the way it looks like, didn't actually plan for a silly song for every episode. I mean, people loved the silly song idea, and the second episode was released that didn't have a silly song for it. And, like, they kept getting letters and stuff, basically people asking them for more and more, you know, which basically 
led to them doing whatever fans wanted. And after that, pretty much every single episode just had a silly song in it. Have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, Where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Hers was small. Number two. God is bigger. You were lying in your bed. You were feeling kind of sleepy. But you couldn't close your eyes because the room was getting creepy. This is the song that started it all since the beginning. It's the only one on the list that is actually not a silly song. Now, it's a song that basically teaches kids that God is bigger than anything in the whole entire universe. Now, it helps kids to conquer fear, and let me tell you, it helped me when I was that age, too, you know, and, and see, God is Bigger was a masterpiece and became an instant classic. God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Number one. The League of Incredible Vegetables by Newsboys. Now I know what you're thinking. Not really a VeggieTales song, right? Well, you're kind of right, you know, but I could not leave this one out because Newsboys did an amazing job with this song. Now, I mean, The League of Incredible Vegetables is my favorite episode, like, of all time by VeggieTales, you know, and I am a longtime Superman and Batman fan. Superman! But with this hilarious Justice League parody, I just, I could not forget about this song i mean it talks about how they fight for truth and justice and for what is right in god's eyes and that's what makes it the best so that pretty much sums up our list i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe which it's free hint hint and be sure to select the notification bell so you never miss a video ever 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 miss a video so thanks for watching peace and god bless